Hey guys, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. Damn. I like me better when I'm with you. So today I'm going to be trying on the rest of my closet. If you guys didn't see, I did a trying on my closet part one. I got through like all the tops and I was sweating and I was just over it. If you haven't seen my first video, I tried on all my tank tops, my like short sleeves, my long sleeves, my sweatshirts, that stuff. And now we're moving on to these containers right here. We're just going to try everything else on. So after this video, you will have seen my entire closet. I'm going to change tops so it's easier to see the pants. Let's get started in this video. Video. Okay, well the first thing I have are these leggings on. They're just leggings. So in this drawer right here, I have like all my skirts and my shorts. Okay, these are the first things I have on there, running shorts. Also, I totally forgot to explain how this entire video works. So basically, I'm decluttering my entire closet and if I try something on and I don't like it, I'm going to sell it on my Mercari. I'll put my username like right here for you guys. And then if I like it, I'm going to be keeping it. But I'm trying to get rid of stuff. These first ones, these are really good go-to. I put on a large t-shirt, like a large sweatshirt over these. So I'm keeping these. Paige just got me this skirt for Christmas and Obviously, I love it. It's plaid, so I'm keeping it. These shorts are just like the basic shorts from Brandy, and I never wear them because they're just not my style anymore. So I'm going to be selling this. Also, everything on my Mercari is going to be listed for super cheap because I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm not trying to, like, make money off of this. Okay, so this skirt I got in Taiwan, and I was, like, in love with it. But it rides, like, a little short on me because I got a little thicker on accident. So, um... I can't really wear this anymore unless I want to totally flash. So this is going to be on my Mercari. These buttons are so hard to button with acrylics. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't really button this right now just because my acrylics. So I just bought this skirt and I love it. So I'm going to keep it. Oh my god, my hair. I also just bought this skirt at PacSun and I think it's really cute because... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I just think it's really dope because it's a little different. I'm struggling to zip this up with my acrylics. Everything's so much harder with acrylics. This, I actually, it kind of grew on me, but it's a skort, and I don't really wear skorts just because it's a little uncomfortable to me. So I will be selling this. I love this skirt. I actually wore this on my first ever date with my boyfriend, so it has some sentimental value to me. I'm keeping it. Okay, I can't even button this. This does not fit. Um, it hardly goes over my butt. It's just, it doesn't fit too well on me, which is sad because you guys know I love plaid, but I'm going to be selling this. This skirt I'm in love with. I think it's very cute, so I'm I'm definitely gonna keep it these two skirts right here I can't figure out how to work them and this one's too big on me so I will be selling this and I will also be selling this black one that I can't I just can't figure out how it works this skirt is something I really liked when I first got it but I just can't figure out how to style it I just don't know it's like high-waisted but kind of lengthy at the same time I just don't know how to style it so I'm gonna be selling this one these shorts I personally don't like the way they fit on me like I would never choose this over a lot of stuff in my closet so I'm selling this these shorts are really comfortable, so I might be keeping these. This is my only black skirt, and I do wear skirts a lot, so I think it'd be good to keep this. This skirt I love, but it is kind of big on me, and I don't like the way if I belt it, like how it looks. So I think this is going to be my hardest goodbye, but I'm going to be selling this skirt. kind of sad about it, but I know she has to go. I bought this skirt a long time ago. It's just like a plaid tennis skirt, I guess. I can't figure out how to pair it. I just haven't touched it, so I'm going to sell this too. These shorts are so big on me, but if I belt them, then it's like fine. So I guess I'm just going to belt these and keep them. Also, yes, I didn't zip it up. I'm too lazy too. I think these shorts are so cute for when it's summertime. Right now it's winter, but I live in California, so it doesn't really make a difference. I love these, so I'm definitely keeping these. I bought these in Taiwan when I was trying to, like, expand my style and, you know, be quirky and stuff. Except this gives me really bad camel toe. And that's the exact same as this one right here. It's like a gray charcoalish pattern. And these both give me really bad camel toe for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to sell these. These are just my really comfy sleep shorts that I found in my shorts pile that I thought I lost these a long time ago so I'm gonna keep these also these white shorts I'm gonna keep but I'm not gonna try them on because I got these stained at the beach a while ago so yeah I'm just gonna keep them this is just a blue skirt it goes it looks like this it's definitely really cute but oh I just realized how many times I've said that word in this video after I've been like not trying to say it but 
I really do like this skirt, but I wouldn't pick it out over a lot of stuff in my closet, and it comes with this belt too. This is one of my favorite skirts ever. This is from Dolph's Kill. It's just a blue plaid chain skirt. I really like it, so I'm keeping this. Also, Nicole got me this for my birthday, and I'm still in love with it. I wore this skirt to a photo shoot that I went to, and I thought it was super adorable, and I like the way it fit on me, so I'm keeping it. These shorts I wore all the time last year in sophomore year, and I was like in love with them, and they're Still really comfy, and I thought I was going to get rid of them, but I think I'm going to keep these. <laughs> these are just go-to black high-waisted shorts. Obviously going to keep them. Um, And for the last, like, skirt slash short item I have, I have this skirt. I broke this, pulling it over my butt. It, like, just doesn't fit well on me, but it might fit really well on you, so I'm going to be selling it. But just know that this part right here is broken, so you just... So you just wouldn't be able to belt it. Now we're done with my skirts and all that jazz. In the thing right here below it, I have all my pants. So let's try on all my pants. First, I have these plaid pants that Nicole gave me because she didn't want them and she knows how I love plaid. So I wear these a lot and I'm keeping them. These are the plaid brandy pants that everyone has, but I still do wear them. So I'm keeping these too. These are just some casual comfy sweatpants that I do wear. So I'm keeping these too. These sweatpants Nicole gave me and they're really dope. I hate feet. Okay. They have like a blue stripe thingy right there and they're so fun. And I love these. So I'm keeping these. Also, something with my pants is that I don't have many of them. I have maybe like 10 pairs of pants, I think. And all of them I wear pretty frequently because I don't own that many. These are from Zaffle. I 10 out of 10 recommend these because they just are really comfy and I feel like I'm wearing pajama pants. I sometimes wear these to school and everyone thinks I'm just wearing pajamas. And then I have the exact same ones in this yellow plaid color. I really recommend getting these if you're looking for pants like this. They're so comfortable. These are snap like Nike sweatpants and by that I mean like they slap the they, they'll I mean, they like snap, and they snap all the way down, and they're really dope. They are a little big on me, and I call these my eating pants, because when I go to buffets and stuff, and I'm all bloated, then these fit perfectly. That was not English. They fit perfectly. Keeping these for my eating pants. These are just, like, booty pants. I think that these are what you call booty pants. I don't know if these are actually booty pants or not. You know which pants I'm talking about, but I never wear these at all, so I'm going to be selling these. I, like hate jeans a lot but these have been with me for like a year now and there's my go-to black jeans so I'm keeping these these are my plaid business pants that i just wear for f not anything business related and they're very comfortable so i'm keeping these okay i did not zip these either but basically i don't like low-rise jeans because i have really short legs so they just don't look good on me. So these don't look too good on me because I have really short legs. So I'm going to be selling this too. Okay, I'm just putting these on right now because I've seen a talk. So the rest of my pants in there, I just have a pair of jeans that Nicole got me for my birthday. Birth for my birthday that we were supposed to rip up. It's like an inside joke we have and we haven't done that yet. So that's everything in there. And then I'm gonna take you guys closer for the next part of my closet. Okay, so in here I have like sleepwear and then like workout stuff. And down here I have all my underwear, so we're not looking at that. Right here are my bathing suits, my belts. And then in here is, that's just my pajama drawer. Now onto my shoe collection. So my shoe collection is just down here. So we're just gonna start off with what's on the bottom. I have my Fila disruptor twos which i'm in love with and then these are just puma white puma basket sneakers i do have some nike slides i got these they're, i don't know what kind they are but they're just reebok shoes i have my vegan doc martens because i'm not into like leather right here these are the shoes i wore to winter formal and they're really cute they're from top moda I don't know, it was just at the shopping center I went to. Underneath, like, all these, I still have some shoes. I have these these pink, like, boots with a heel on them. I don't know, they're really dope because they're something unique. I just have these, like, comfy shoes. In this little area, I have these shoes that I am selling. I put them up on my Mercari a while ago, but they haven't sold. So if you want them, they're still for sale. These are my what I call my work shoes because we have to wear black shoes to work so I just wear those so they're pretty gross right now. I have my Adidas Superstars but they're so old because I wore these I think freshman year or 8th grade Um, and then I just have some Fila running shoes. Right here I have these heels. There's black heels. I have these black heel booties and then these black heeled booties too these which i have not worn ever and for the final part of my entire trying everything on my closet you guys have asked for a scrunchie collection because i own so many scrunchies so right here we're gonna do a nice scrunchie montage of every single scrunchie i own
Okay guys, that's it for this video. I'm very tired and I'm gonna go eat some good pasta right now because I'm hungry after that. I did upload um, a part one to this. So if you wanna check that out, it's also linked down below and I linked it earlier in this video. My Mercari is gonna be linked down below, but if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like and if you really like me, don't forget to subscribe, comment anything you want down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye broskies.